Hello everyone, there are some important topics about ordinary bill and money bill. So let's start. Ordinary bill can be introduced either in the Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha. But money bill can be introduced only Lok Sabha, not Rajya Sabha. Ordinary bill can be introduced either by a minister or private member. But money bill can be introduced only by minister, not private member. Ordinary bill introduced without recommendation of the president, but it can be introduced only the recommendation of president for money bill. Ordinary bill can be amend, reject by Rajya Sabha, but money bill cannot be amend or reject by Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha should return the bill with or without recommendation which may be accepted or rejected by Lok Sabha. Ordinary bill can be retained by Rajya Sabha for maximum period of 6 months. But money bill can be retained by Rajya Sabha for maximum period of 14 days only. Money bill is very important so 14 days uh, maximum period okay ordinary bill does not require the certification of speaker when transmitted to the Rajya Sabha but money bill it required certification of speaker when transmitted to Rajya Sabha ordinary bill sent for president's assent only after being approved by both houses in case of deadlock due to disagreement between two houses, a joint sitting of both houses can be summoned by the president to resolve deadlock. But in money bill, it is sent to president assents even if it approved only by Lok Sabha, there is no chance of any disagreement between the to house and hence there is no provisions of joint sitting of both houses is regard this. Ordinary bill defeat in Lok Sabha may lead to the resignation of the government. But money bill defeat in Lok Sabha leads to resignation of the government. Ordinary bill can be rejected, approved or returned for reconsultation by president but money bill can be rejected or approved but cannot be returned for reconsultation by the president there are some important points like these bills ordinary bills introduce both houses but money bill is not only for Lok Sabha and ordinary bill for both members private and ministers but money bill not private members and jo ordinary bill hai uske liye recommendation ki zarurat nahi hai but money bill ke liye bahut zaruri hai recommendation ke bada ye introduce nahi kar sakti hai ordinary bill amend or reject ho sakti hai but money bill amend or reject nahi ho sakti ordinary bill for 6 months money bill for 14 days and Certification zaruri nahi hai ordinary bill ke liye, but money bill ke liye certification speaker ki baat zaruri hai and jo ordinary bill hai wo apad joint sitting hai but money bill mein koi joint sitting nahi hai thank you so much